What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we are discussing a specific part of this pen. <laughs> we are discussing the nib. That's right people. I got a titanium nib. I want to see what all the craze is about. This happens to be a um, Edison Nouveau Premier fountain pen. This is the 2018 winter edition um, from Goulet Pens. But that is not what we're talking about today. I do have a full review of it if you want to see it. Uh, I believe I actually had the Edison Gold Nib on here um, when I did the review. Um, but this is just going to be talking about the nib. This is Box Titanium Nib. So it's, it's just a one size. You don't choose like fine, medium or anything like that. It's just one size. Um, and it's really, really hard to see but it says Titan on it underneath the word Bach. It has Bach's little logo there. Um, and it's kind of like a matte gray finish on the nib. Uh, it has Bach's usual scrolling there as well. And then this is Edison's feed. Um, so it's a number size six nib, um, a number size six, a number six size nib. <laughs> Um, that can fit on any pen that you can swap out the nib for. So it doesn't have to go on an Edison pen. That's just what I chose to do. Um, so it looks really cool. Uh, and because it's like the um, little titanium color, just like this kind of matte gray, it'll really go well, I think, with the majority of pen bodies. So I don't think you'll have to worry about aesthetics. Um, what I would recommend though, is that because it's a titanium nib and as you'll see in a minute, it does flex out a little bit more, does put down a little bit more ink. Um, I would recommend putting it on a pen that has, um, a really well-made feed, um, that will be able to keep up with that. So I would recommend that, but let's put this aside for a moment, open up some paper and I will show you how this writes. All right, let's crack this. Um, what do I have? It So I have this pen right now um, filled with Pilot 100th Anniversary uh, Ibisu, if, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is just a sample size uh, that I got actually from Wonder Pens in Toronto. Um, and let's check it out. So this ink is perfect for what I wanted to show uh, about this pen. So if you see here how the Q is a little bit darker, so this this ink shades like banana crazies. Um, so this is like a, a darker Q, a darker I, a darker O, whereas like when I cursive write, it's, it's much lighter. Because this pen, or this nib, sorry, this nib responds so incredibly well to pressure, it very much differs uh, to how much ink it puts out. So when I'm cursor writing and it's all relatively the same amount of pressure, it comes out nice and light. But when I put down more pressure, it comes out much wetter. Um, so let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Uh, wow, all right, there we go. All right, so basically, if I just put down a little bit of pressure, not too bad but you can definitely flex out a little bit more. So you can definitely get some good juicy flow. Now it's not a flex pen, it's not, it's not designated as a flex pen, but you, it's very easy. I'm, I just, I can't caution that enough. It is very easy to push the tines of this pen which means it's gonna be very easy to spring the tines on this pen. So just be careful. It is a very wet writer, so I'm putting down virtually no pressure and look how much goes. If I put down a little bit more pressure, then I get more ink. Reverse writing. Still works pretty much like a charm. You'll get like an extra fine there. Yeah, that doesn't really matter how much pressure you put on it. It's gonna be the same thing. But you will absolutely have to watch this pen. Or sorry, this nib. I keep saying this pen. 
because it is so easy. It is like melted butter, basically, to be able to spread the tines on this. And it writes really, really well. Um, with no pressure on your upstrokes, like you can barely even see it with this ink. And then naturally, more pressure coming down. It writes very well. I will say I have had the odd time uh, with hard starts with this nib, um, depending on the ink that I've put in here. Um, I also have had the odd skipping um, if I've been kind of doodling with it for a very long time. But this feed is really good for being able to keep up with this. Um, so that's kind of the general gist. I would say it with very light pressure, you're probably close to a, a fine nib. Um, and then with heavy pressure, you're definitely at a broad. So you, I really like this nib. I really like this nib. Um, but I just caution people when you first get it, don't go crazy. You're gonna run into some troubles. <laughs> so would I recommend this nib? Heck yeah. I would recommend the crud out of this nib, but just be careful. Don't go too crazy. So guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hit that like button if you liked it. That subscribe button if you want to see more. You'll see new videos every Monday and Friday with the occasional Q&A and &A chat on Tuesdays and Thursdays. As always, guys, I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.